I have box. Get back. Go. Back. Back. Jack, go. Back. Ooh. It's bigger than I thought. What is going on today, guys? Welcome back to episode two of the mini build series. I think I'm going to actually stick with calling it the ultimate mini, but if you have a better idea for a name, just leave it in the comments below. I just got the NM Engineering cold air intake, so let's get that unboxed right now. shield, which ironically is warm, the pipe, which is covered in bubble wrap, and the actual air filter, plus the instructions and some of the bolts. Cool. nice powder coated dark blue. I'm gonna go look at this next to my engine bay. We're gonna see how this color matches up. Ho ho ho, that's big. That is a meaty air filter. Let's go see what these colors look like. Update on um, what we did in here. That. Yeah, putting these next to each other, I'm definitely gonna. I got a spare can of spray paint for this just to spray paint it because this goes right like, like that. Yes. No. Like that. Yes. So that goes like that. Also, we're gonna clean out the engine bay. So I'm gonna do that first while I have a cold air box that's like covered, or I guess an air box that's covered. So let's go get the car outside. Yeah, now that it's set in the sun, you can see just how dirty it is. Right there. That looks bad. Pop off the engine cover. I'm gonna start by spraying was effectively degreaser. This is not, it's not glass cleaner. We changed the bottle. I'm also gonna go grab a bag and tape that over any of these electrical bits over here. Okay, so. That should stay on, because I'm not hitting it with high pressure, even though I got my pressure washer. I'm gonna be hitting it with low pressure. There we go. I'm gonna go grab my brush. So I've got this brush. I'm gonna use this just to basically take any of this that's like caked on and just any sort of agitation will help loosen it. So I'm gonna start with a 15 degree tip with low pressure to see if that Bag. 
So there you can see some of the stuff that I accidentally knocked off. So we'll just spray paint that on real quick. That should, that should be really quick and easy to fix. This I'm gonna leave to dry. Kind of the setup we got, we're gonna touch up the intake and then the intake piper needs to be completely painted because of the color difference. Two, just to seal it, make sure nothing happens. Even after just two coats, it's looking a whole lot better. It's still not quite the same. It definitely won't hold up with just two coats, but I think after four, it should be good. So here in the shade, right there, was a engraved NM Engineering. It's, it's kind of visible there. I like it when it's like where it's, it's ghosted. It's now the next day, and we've made sure everything is completely dry, so I'm gonna just push the Cooper out a little bit so we have room to work in the garage because it's still stinking hot outside. Okay, so we need to remove the box. So first off is removing the sensor and I'm just gonna lift off this little wire here so I don't forget about it. So that sensor looks like it's T20, I think. And it's the sensor, which is, how do you remove this? Yeah. It is a 10. Okay, with that off, we need to unscrew this with just a flat head. There we go. So lift up and out. No other attachments? Nope. Did I not, um, did I not loosen it enough? Yeah, let's open this up. Just don't worry. Okay. There we go. That just comes right up. That's the old air filter box. Just right here. Just basically drop it right in. That seems like it's here. Lift it out. Lift it out. That has completely worn away. Oh no, it came out. Huh? Did it completely wear away? Yeah, it completely worn away. Well, that's a pain in the butt. So it's supposed to be in there like that. Just pull your hand up. I It'll. It. I it. Wasn't it sticking on its own under its own. No, because it's, it's matted from underneath. I know, but it was like sticky. There we go. There we go. And we can just rebolt it. We forgot to install the little metal grommet that holds it in place. Anti-vibe. Okay, remove the mass airflow sensor housing, basically. So, drive it and then using the supplied Phillips heads, so just basically screw it right back in. There we go. And this basically fits up in there. Once we loosen a little bit more, I think, or no, it's just catching. There we go. So that fits in there, and it gets put down here. We did this backwards. We were supposed to install the pipe to the box before we put the box in. So I'm gonna go undo this. Okay, so we're doing it right this time. Ah. Yep, that's on. We'll reconnect this before I forget. There we go. Now we just gotta put the air filter on. Right, you got it on so much. Oh, that's, that rotates. 
That's what I said. There we go. Put it on there. It's on there. It's right on there. Yeah, that's everything. Just gonna put your dam back on in there. Yep. Engine cover. So air dam. Oh. Yeah, those I just put on there so I wouldn't lose them. Like on the filter, the dark blue doesn't look bad, but I think on the air intake it didn't look great. Here we go. Yeah, that looks really good. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna let my engine warm up. The dark blue filter looks really good. That lights just turned off. Sounds good. So there you have it. NM Engineering cold air intake. A super simple mod, needlessly complicated because that's the way I do things. Should have taken me about seven minutes to install and instead it took me a little over a day because we had to spray paint it. But I think it looks amazing, it sounds amazing, and I'm excited to get this out onto the mountain roads now with that and the new exhaust, so yeah. So until next time, thank you all so much for watching. If you like the content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.